Technology, right? Works great. <laughs> when it works. All right. So, yeah, when it works. Works. What is that saying? 60% of it works every 60% of the time, every time, or something like that. Uh, right. So we're back. KMX uh, 2022. Happy to have Scott Lewitt, uh, Structural Composites. Um, happy to have you stop by for a few minutes. Um, yeah, structuralcomposites.com. Uh, a company that is bringing disruptive technology to both traditional and new markets, allowing composites to compete financially with traditional materials. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. Great give to me see a little. You. Give me a little background on uh, structural composites. Your background in the industry. I know it goes way back. It started back in 1987, right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. We formed in '87. Uh, uh, story goes a little before that. Uh, Went to Florida Tech, did sure. my uh, bachelor's in oceanography, and uh, okay. met my partner, who was a new professor at Florida Tech. Okay. Uh, talked me into doing my master's in ocean engineering. Oh, wow. So I changed the degrees, got my master's wow. there, and uh, uh, while we did that, uh, we got to work together. Uh, left there, went to work for the Navy up okay. in Panama City doing uh, T&E, and got to work with the SEAL teams on okay. underwater vehicles. Awesome. Wow. And uh, this was right around uh, when Gaddafi was poking his head up. <laughs> And this is before Special Warfare became uh, an agency onto its own. So Special wow. Warfare was, like, embedded into all the divisions. Sure, yeah. And, uh, you know, you can kind of give a little credit to Gaddafi for helping getting SOCOM going in some yeah. ways. It, it, it helped recognize the need for a another command. Right. Uh, and in particular, the underwater vehicle that we were, the SEAL teams were using was mm -hmm. developed in the 60s. And, sure. And they finally got budget to right. upgrade it. And uh, I was a, able to uh, bring a nice big contract back to Florida Tech to uh, very nice to help do that effort, and yeah. then we kicked off Flor uh, structural composites in 1987 inside Florida Tech. In wow! Before incubators were really talked <laughs> about, you know, and and uh, it was great. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of guys were going for aerospace. Yeah, and they, they were all going for the sexy aerospace. We, sure, we just love boats. Absolutely, we love boats, and so. Well, you're in well, Florida. I mean, who wouldn't, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. it's... <laughs> well, what was happening was all these materials, like boats in the 70s and 60s and 70s and 80s, it was pretty much two materials. You yeah. know, it was chop and woven roving. Right, right. Wood. Yep. Okay, yeah. and then in the 80s, this is where the, they started getting new materials, and these materials were coming out of the aerospace industry, yeah. the knit fabrics, the right. things that are all mainstream now. Sure. But picture these things coming into boat builders where there was not an engineer in a boat building factory. And so sales guys would come in and sell these materials. They'd build the boat. It would fall apart. Right. You know, it was very good material, but if you don't understand strength and modulus and how that translates right. to load bearing, and, and Dr. Ron filled that void. He started figuring out how to use those materials, okay. analyze it, test it. Sure. And we walked into a vacuum. Yeah. Nobody was doing this. And so it was great. And, and we started uh, doing this, and we, the consulting work and government work was great, but it's up and down, up and down. Yeah, yeah. And, and we had a lot of inventions, and nobody really wanted to do it. So we said, okay, let's just do that ourselves. Okay. And so Prisma Preforms came out in the mid-'90s. Okay. And Prisma, you know, really took the wood out of boats. Sure. So we take reinforcing fabrics, cast them into shape with expanding foam. Okay. And it kind of forms the Lego system for boat building. And you know this took. What was the co uh, the cost comparison with with wood? At, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, we we are uh, the Prisma technology was lower cost than wood, yeah. low, far lower cost than fiberglass grids. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and and now with uh, you know millions of boats out there, you can go look at warranty history, <laughs> and you see a dramatic right. difference between. So the <laughs> there's some <laughs> hidden costs there. That <laughs> yeah, and what people didn't really think about too was weight. Yeah. Okay, so it's because putting wood in or grids in adds thousands of pounds of weight to the boat. And, right. And, you know, we really help push lightweight, high performance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now with fuel prices and everything the way they are, Absolutely. Those, are, those are really important. Yeah. So we kind of had a feeling this, this you know, the, the, all these other markets are sitting here. Yeah. Ripe for technology. And we could see the aerospace guys. I remember a decade ago, two decades ago, Northrop Grumman was trying to make a bus yeah. and try right. to get in the bus business. And sure. we're looking at it going, all right, who's going to have a better <laughs> chance of succeeding at yeah. moving materials into these mass markets? The sure. marine guys or the aerospace guys? Yeah. So we said, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. And we started because the boating industry, even now we had manufacturing, now it's up and down with boat cycles. Yeah. Okay, so we're like, what can we do? Let's get into other markets. Absolutely. And, and uh, in 2009, we won a uh, small business innovative research contract okay. with the Navy with Combatant Craft. Nice. So really wonderful program. Uh, we, we had been doing stunt boats for mm -hmm. one of the theme parks before. Right. So this is we developed a lightweight shock mitigating sure. combatant craft. So okay. it absorbs the shock energy as the waves hit. 
our war fighters, about 60% have lost time injury due to wave impact. We've had deaths and severe injuries so so taking the shock out of those loads is yeah. important uh, and also making them lighter yeah because we got to put more guys and guns on them than right we used right to. absolutely okay. and in that project uh, uh, by doing that the material systems we had weren't mm -hmm. going to hold up and that led to the invention of cocure oh okay okay and what cocure did is it blends polyurethane with polyester so sure you think about the polyester is very rigid and it right. cracks we take a very elastomeric polyurethane yeah and we can directly blend this these materials in, yeah. in wild ratios and, and by doing that we we formulate a new material right at the gun head and so we can take a material and make it rigid everything to elastomeric with the same four chemicals okay wow and and it started out with coatings because sure. you know the gel coats way cracking Folks Absolutely. are designed around gel coats. Right. They're not right. designed around laminates. So right. We change that with Cocure. Yeah. Now we can make gel coats that stress 10%, 20%, whatever you want. Wow. Okay. And and it's really interesting. I invented that uh, during this work while we're working on the Navy. Yeah. And I went to the supply chain with this cool idea. And they're looking at me like I'm crazy because <laughs> I got 150 Navy boats and they're not going right. to do anything for me. Right. So fortunately, Wabash National came along and was yeah. starting to wanted to disrupt the market. And right. through Composite Application Group, uh, they found us. We were talking with Peter Peter, uh, Peter Hedger yesterday. Exactly. We we're talking about that. That yeah. um, that yeah. was an interesting case study there. So. Yeah, and so so they came, and then you know it was like magic because as soon as uh, you know they make sixty thousand semi trailers a year. Yeah. Okay. When they're interested in something, they get a pretty different reaction from the right. supply chain right. than what I was getting. Right. And so they said, "Oh, this coke here is great." They invested and became equity partners in, in awesome. my company. And now the supply chain has dumped tens of millions of dollars sure. to making Cocure a product to go commercial for Wabash, wow, right? Man, that's so now that's commercial. Cycle up. I, yeah. In 2006, 17, uh -huh. I won a $2.7 million contract from that's the Navy amazing. under Rapid Innovation Fund. Right. And now all I had to do is go, great, I need that material in <laughs> Navy gray. Right. <laughs> okay. So the, the, the impactful thing to learn here yeah. is this dance between... The government money, yeah. the commercial pull, sure. and, and using that dance to get supply chain engagement. Right. Because if, if it doesn't become a product, the government can't use it. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so there's yeah. a really good lesson there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And it seemed, sounded like it was good timing for you because at that time, you know, obviously the marine industry was with the recession, yep. was was really in a funk, yep. you know, for a while there. Yep. Uh, so that that's that's yeah, a great yeah, story. And, and in fact, uh, you know, in, in that time in 2009, uh, yeah. uh, you know, we had gotten really good at growing. Sure. We never had to learn how to shrink. Right. And we lost 80 percent of our sales in 2009 <laughs> at, at Compsys and Prisma. Yeah. We we're trying to live on 20 percent. I had in, in one month I had five percent of my normal sales. Oh wow. And fortunately, having the structural composite side, we yeah. had we had theme park business. Yeah. We had Navy park uh, Navy business things like that and. We managed to uh, keep it glued together somehow to get through Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And and uh, now because of because of these uh, innovations is way stronger than yeah. ever. Yeah. You know? That's great. So we've taken on additional partners now with Trinity Rail. Yeah. And moving into rail uh, yeah. infrastructure. Sure. And so you know, I, I, my mission is I, I have this, you know, if you kind of look at people, they tend to focus on a market. Yeah. And they go, where are marine? Where right. are this? Where right, that? Right. Right. So. I'm kind of weird. So <laughs> I'm we're where the opportunity is, right? The, yeah. the, you know, well, the, the, you know, the, the, the place to be or the vacuum, so to speak. Exactly. Where and I have this feeling and I, I'm trying to prove it that we're all trying to solve the same problem. Yeah. doesn't matter if it's here. And so our little company, you know, we're, we're about a hundred people. Right. Okay. We've got Marine projects. We've got transportation with Wabash. We've sure. got everything from final mile grocery delivery, semi trailer. We're doing yeah. rail. We're into infrastructure. We've got our, our first big aerospace projects right. taking the Cocure technology to aerospace. We've got a, a, a SBIR to take it into automotive with Ford. Wow. Okay, so if I'm as a small company with 100 people, I can work marine, construction, transportation, automotive. You see where I'm going? Yeah, absolutely. Others can too. Right. Okay. Right. What's the uh, typically, you know, automotive, that's always been a... I guess maybe a challenging industry a little bit. I mean, huh? Understatement. <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what what's been the experience there? In, yeah, in, yeah, no, it's great. So, uh, what what I see as automotive is it's a long haul. Yeah, right? yeah. And and there's some things happening though that are creating opportunities. Sure. Okay. And so, one of the big lessons in the 30 years yeah. is you can't control timing. Right. 
Okay, and, and businesses are always trying to make plans, and they, they sell these plans, and they got to make these timelines. Uh, uh, yeah. And that's probably the cause of 90% of product failure. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. If, if you could uh, relax the timeline and let the, the course of nature take its time, you could have very successful products. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? But, but we force ourselves into that. Um, and so, you know, uh, by connecting the right partners together and mm -hmm. being there, when the opportunity comes, yeah. you have to be at the table. Absolutely. And you have to be ready. You can't control the timing, but you can be ready. So, right. so we had all these things. Wabash came along. They were looking to disrupt. Right. You know, I had been working in infrastructure yeah. from the 90s working with Georgia Tech. So they saw us working on bridges. And went, sure. Well, if you can make a bridge out of this, why can't we make a, a semi-trailer? Okay, normal business people would have said, what are you doing working on this? How much money have you made this year on bridges? And right. For 15 years making right. it. Okay. Yep. But we don't think that way. We're yep. thinking uh, technology and, and, you know, we, we our business is um, run by by engineers. Yeah. So, you know, good and bad, right? Yeah, 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 uh, right. But, but, the, but the one <laughs> There's thing. There's a trade-off there. Yeah, I mean, but we have, a hard, we have a hard rule. Okay? Sure. The bean counters work for us. Right. Okay, in every company. That's great. The bean counters. Unfortunately, want to that's take not over. the case at a lot of companies. No, you know, they, they, the bean counters are good at taking over the business. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and they override the technology and the vision. Yeah. Unless you got a, 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 a Elon Musk or somebody right. like you know, or right. like somebody crazy like right. me, because um, they it's their nature. Yeah. They're trying to control, control, right. control, and. And what I say is, oh, accounting's good, and business, that's good, but you guys got to make sure I don't go broke, and I need the money to do where I want to go. <laughs> right. Because right? I'm not about profit today. That's I'm right. Taking this you're looking, someplace. yeah, you're looking yeah. way into the future, and yeah. that's forward thinking. That's yeah. the way we should be yeah. in this industry. Well, and is it really about profit too, right? Yeah. Uh, because at a certain point, you, you know, you made some right. money, and now what? Yeah. More? What does right. it do for you? <laughs> exactly. Right? It should, yeah. Actually, it, it, meeting some people that have a lot. Sometimes of money. it get, it does kind of get you lazy a little bit. You it, know, it, it takes the uh, edge off. You uh, know, I'm seeing that with some people I've connected with now, right. where they, they're a slave to the money. Yeah. To manage it's taking right. their life. Yeah. You know, and it's like, well, I'd rather do this. this sure. Is good, you know, I like technology and, you know, moving oh, it into markets. There's I nothing more that. satisfying than that. Uh, you know, our Navy project was wonderful because we got to design these boats. Yeah. We worked with the industrial base. We built the boats. Yep. Then we instrumented the boats. Mm -hmm. And then we took them offshore. I, I ran every boat offshore 200 hours personally. Wow. Okay. With computer instrumentation, analyzed the data. So it's very rare in an engineering career <laughs> to be able to go from right. there all the way right. to the end. Right. You know, and, yeah. and it's just a That's fantastic awesome. experience. I, you, I'm sure you got a ton of stories. I, I want to have you back on the show at some point. Sure. Given the given our environment, we have to make these a, a little short. But I want to have you back on because I know you've got. There's so much more I could we could touch on. Yeah, anytime. Um, but I want to mention uh, the website where people can learn more is structuralcomposites.com, and. Booth number, do you remember it off top? Uh, N85, <laughs> November 85. I November 85, N85. Yeah. Um, uh, N85, so stop by uh, the Structural Composites booth while you're here at the show. And uh, Scott will uh, share his abundant, abundant background. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, we've got, uh, is it Jean that's coming up? Is Jean yeah. Jean, yeah. Okay. So, so lead in for that, you know, again, uh, we're we're not we like our innovations, but yeah. we work with other innovators. Absolutely, right. And by doing that, it's it's a lot of fun. So, right. so the, the Gene Combe, who you're bringing up yeah. next, has yeah. a, had a product that's doing good and saw a vision to do something else with us. Awesome, pulled us in, and we won the Ace Award with Perfect. Lamlight. Yeah, I know. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. So, Great. Scott, Thank thanks you. so much. Right. Uh, enjoyed it, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. I'll be in touch with you. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right, Gene, come on over. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, you're good to go. Oh, cool. You see what? What is she doing? Who? Oh, good to see you. Take care. Enjoy the show. See you guys. Um, yeah. So we're still live, and because uh, we made this kind of a two-part uh, interview, so I've got Jean, Jean Combe. Yes. Jean Combe? Is that am I pronounced? I, I would say Jean Combe. But Jean Combe. Well, see, I said Jean, I, I said Jean earlier, and Scott said, no, he said Jean. So I'm like, okay. I what? know I changed my name. <laughs> now he's John in US. So, so uh, Canvas Light. I'm excited about this. Uh, Jean, I'm going to call you Jean, um, won the uh, ACE Award right here. Can you hold that up? 
uh, for this product. So I've got, this is fascinating. I was over at your booth earlier and you're located uh, at N, do you remember the booth? 87 or 97. 87 or 97. Yeah. You're right next to structural composites. So uh, I, I think it's 87. So 87. Yeah. Yeah. We're actually together. Yeah. Yeah, we're a partner Absolutely. on that technology. Yep. Uh, so tell us, what exactly is this, uh, if you can explain, because this is fascinating. Um, it, uh, it lights up, right? Exactly. Light lit composites. I love it. <laughs> so the history is uh, coming a couple is this of years it? ago. Right here? Yes. Can we hold that up? Sure. Yeah. So it, it comes from a couple of years ago when we, uh, Gartex, started to develop technology called Canvas Light. Okay. It's an illuminating fabric made out uh, of optical fibers. Sure. And uh, the concept was uh, that we were using optical fibers, treating okay. them so they would leak light along the way. Okay. And you would create a, a lighting panel, a lighting surface uh -huh. that would only require one light injection at the end of the fibers. Okay. And so uh, the analogy I used to take is uh, a pipe of water. Yeah. Imagine that in your garden you have a pipe of water and you make a lot of small holes okay. along the way so you will leak light. Ah, and okay. we do exactly the same with the fiber optics. We take the fiber optics, uh -huh. we create micro impacts along the way. Okay. So instead of seeing the light from point A to point B, you're, seeing, you're losing 80% of the light on the, on, the, ah. on the length of the, uh, the fiber optic. Okay. That's incredible. And what we did was to develop these fabrics for uh, a big mini tops in the marine industry initially. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to upholstery, flooring. Everything was textile, so still flexible as a fabric. Yeah. And last year, we won the IBEX Innovation Award for that. Right. And uh, we met with a structural composite and Scott, and we got this idea of what if we make that uh, a structural part, uh, something that can be used, you know, as a structure of a pool, uh, sure. in a boat, uh, sure. you know, in anything that would be composite. Right. And they had this very cool um, resin, cocure, mm -hmm. that gave uh, very good properties of the fabric when it was laminated. Right. So what you're seeing right now, it's actually the fabric laminated with cocure. Okay. And it's not anymore textile, it's a, a solid part, something rigid that right. you can use in composite structures sure. to light it up okay. without actually having electricity you're just transporting light okay so a lot of benefits on yeah, that yeah absolutely so so some uh, can you mention some uh, marine some boat companies that are apply how they're using that how they're uh, sure so using uh, that application the, the, as I said the first was Bimini top so you have yeah. to imagine the idea was to create another function like to be able to light up uh, a boat by night okay. using yeah. a safe uh, textile that was integrated okay and then we moved to applications such as upholstery so imagine the captain chair right when we use designs that either you can see during the day but by night they light up so okay. it gives life to the boat oh yeah or yeah. we hide you know behind uh, woven fabrics sure so during the day you would see a beautiful woven and fabrics as usual in any boat okay. but by night you can see uh, designs that pops out uh, oh, nice. with different colors and lights right. so this is what we did on the textile applications okay how much uh i mean how bright does it is it i mean we can't see because of the lights and everything but is it pretty it, it's pretty bright i would say it's a uh, it's an ambient lighting. Okay. It's, it's not going to replace, uh, you know, a powerful spot that you use right now. Okay. It's, it gives you an ambient lighting just to be comfortable. Sure. Uh, not too bright, but, but you know, we develop electronics with mm -hmm. uh, good power capacity, so you can generate more light. Sure. And if you want to dim it, you just use, you know, control oh, wow. and you can That's dim amazing. it. Oh wow! That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, we, we we try to work. This this is, uh, I would say, the composite of the textile part. Uh -huh. But what becomes uh, very interesting is when you consider the electronic part. Sure. We create electronics that fits the systems that people use normally to control their lights. So right. So you can make it blue, red, green with the same fabric. You can just play with uh, That's uh, many amazing. many uh, parameters. Any other uh, industries outside of marine? You you mentioned, um, uh, well, just mentioned any other industries outside of the marine industry. So uh, if I talk about Gartex, so the, the company, uh, you know, uh, behind uh, Canvas Light and Lamlight, yeah, yeah. Uh, we work in marine, uh, defense, a uh, couple like industries sure. over yeah. in Europe. Yeah. And in North America, with Canvas Light and Lamlight specifically, we work uh, in the marine, in the RV companies. RVs, uh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. That's all the industries now are popping out with Lamlight, sure. such as, you know, construction, uh, architecture. Yeah. And all these industries, you know, they keep like a pool. Pool mm -hmm. company, so yeah. it, it just increases with the people understanding the potential of that uh, technology. Can I see that for a second? Sure. That's amazing. I want to hold that up. That's that's really cool. Um, I 
I think uh, you should go uh, take a video to our display over there because I, I can't plug it right here. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I mean, that's just. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I want to see that because we want to feature some video on this uh, on this episode of of one actually lit up. Up. So, uh, so how can people learn? Uh, what What is the website? Is it? Um, is it? So, uh, the, so we have two websites, but the website regarding the composite application is uh -huh. called z uh, the lamlight .com. Okay. And if you go there, you actually are going to be able to uh, get most of the information regarding that. Okay. We have also a very responsive teams, uh, you know, like from Gartex side and structure composite side, mm -hmm. when we, you know, merge our two expertise. Sure. So we can answer questions. Oh, fantastic. Okay, very good. Uh, trying to light that up right now. Let's see if I can do that. That's awesome. Do you have any other question? No, I just, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all out. But uh, again, I want to mention uh, Canvas Light N87 and uh, right next to the booth of uh, Structural Composites. So, oh, cool. All right, now he's lighting it up. Yeah, so you can see I just used my phone, and this is yeah. one of the possible ways to control it. But Oh, you can, it, through an app? Yeah, it's there? through an app, but you know, it really depends. It's just a light bulb. Imagine yeah. that you just use an app or anything like that. Okay. So <laughs> Nice. That is so cool. Right, you can see here, is right. actually, you know, like if I unplug it, there is nothing else. Right, and right. Here is the electronic that diffuses the light. Sure. So you can see it's color lighting. Uh, yeah. Right here, That's I can amazing. you know play with my phone and make it uh, you know go faster or just different like colors. Different colors. I can match the music. So yeah. if you're in a boat or in your awesome. RV, you have music. You can like make it uh, yeah. all the music. So. That's incredible. Yeah, many ways to play. With. It reminds me of um, a, a friend that uh, during the holidays they do the uh, holiday lights, and you can uh, put the trim up. You know, and instead of putting those, you know, the tacky Christmas lights that everybody yeah. always puts, there's something like really innovative like that that changes colors, you know, around the, the trim of the house. So uh, that's awesome. I love that. And uh, best of best. Are in, in fact, this is cool. So when was this at the Ace Award was, it was yesterday? Y yesterday. Yes. Okay. All right. Just want that. And uh, we hope to uh, get others and uh, get the new applications going on. Sure. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, best of success to your company. Again, it's Canvas Light, and um, N87 is the booth number. Uh, Jean Combe? Com Jean Combe. Jean Combe. And how do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Mazir? Mazir, exactly. Mazir. Oh, I nailed it. Okay. Good to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Enjoy the rest of the show. Hi, you, too. Bye. Awesome. We're just not one right after another. <laughs> that was great. That's amazing. That is incredible. All right. Hope you're not claustrophobic with this. <laughs> awesome. Gentilly. I would have said gentil. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have... Is it Dominique? Dominique, yeah. Dominique Gentile, she is the Director of Communications for Structural Composites. Uh, I'm so happy to have you on. Mm -hmm. And I want you to share some of the work you're doing. I know you do a lot of, have a lot of different things going there. You do a lot of marketing, communications, social media, all of that. But uh, I want you to share some of the news that you were mentioning to me right before the show. Of, of uh, course, yeah. yeah so. With my title of director of communications, it's, you know, tr tr traditionally, you know, the mm -hmm. PR, the marketing side of things. Yeah. Um, but I got multiple legs in the company. I wear multiple <laughs> hats. Um, That's great. And I have a huge passion for education. Yeah. Um, I graduated from Florida Tech okay. with my second degree this past May. Awesome. Congratulations. Um, thank you very much. And I was trying to find an internship during COVID. Okay. And it was a requirement for both my degrees to graduate. Okay. I needed over 800 hours of internship time in oh, order wow. to graduate. Okay. And uh, located in Space Coast, where yeah. Structural Composites is, yeah. most of the companies around there had to honor the students from the prior year. Ah, I see. Okay. So here I am with thousands of other students going, uh, <laughs> what the heck? What are we going to do? Right. We need these to graduate. Sure. Right. Um, 
So I was lucky. I was actually waitressing during COVID to get right. paper, you right. know, some of my classes. And Scott Lewitt and the management team was at my table. Nice. We get to chat and he's like, I'm an alumni of Florida Tech. And I'm like, oh, I go there. These are my degrees, IT management, marketing. He lit up. He's like, we need marketing. Boom. Hired. Here I am <laughs> a year later and I run the entire marketing department. That's great. Um, but back in March, yeah. Scott was it's like, hey, we need some summer interns. Yeah. Maybe let's do three. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, great. I'm going to use my connections at Florida Tech and Eastern Florida State College. And I reached out and I put up some postings. Within two weeks, I had over 100 applications. Wow, that's incredible. And I brought it back to Scott and I was like, listen, this is exactly what I was going through. Look sure. at all these kids that don't have internships right now and they need it. Right, right. So what can we do? What, what can we change? So we ended up creating the Composite Pathways program. Oh, wow. Which I'm the founder of alongside with Scott, and uh -huh. it's an internship program. No okay. matter your degree, you can be a chemical engineer all yeah. the way down to an accounting major. Right. And you spend time in the materials testing laboratory, Sigma sure. Labs, right. the manufacturing facility of Comsys, mm -hmm. and over doing engineering with structural composites. Okay. And they got to be well-rounded. They each got to spend time doing those items and then got to pick a project. Okay. Nice. He said, here's what we got. Choose something that interests you. Oh, that's great. So yeah. all of them, 13 of them, mm -hmm. walked out with a completed project that summer. Nice. And we currently still have nine of them yeah. working through the semester. Some okay. couldn't do it. Some graduated. We actually hired one. Right. Another one got hired out, and she's doing great in North Carolina. Yeah. Um, but this showcased, like, holy crap, the need. Yeah. And the need in Florida is very big, but I will say it is universal right now due uh, yeah, to what Yeah, absolutely. Happened. Yeah, we were talking. I mean, it's just... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but talk to so many companies that are just really tr struggling to staff, you know, qualified people right now. Mm -hmm. So, so due to that, so you have the educated workforce from yeah. colleges, <clears throat> trade right. schools, and so forth. Right. But what about the folks that don't have the time or the money to go to school? Yeah. So I created another program mm -hmm. called the Advanced Manufacturing Pre-Apprenticeship Program. It's a grant through the Florida Department of Education. Mm -hmm. We have $1.06 million to do it. Okay. And within the Space Coast, we already have quite a few partners that are going to sponsor some students. Oh, that's so great. And this way, they get to get six certifications in okay. six months. Wow. And they get to hands-on on the job training. In six months? In six months. Man. Mm -hmm. But then we also have a fast track option. Okay. So they just get the on the job training. I thought training. that was the fast track. <laughs> no, that isn't the, but the problem is, is most people can afford to do six months. Not yeah, long. that's true. Yeah. Um, so we have a fast track option as well. So okay. six weeks. Six weeks. And they right. get to walk out as certified production te technician. Wow. And the need is, is you need people on the shop floor. You need people in the laboratories. You yeah. Need, you can find an engineer anywhere. Right. But what about the people that are hands on? Absolutely. Um, so here I am. I'm very passionate about it. That's so great. And I'm trying to solve the large problem of workforce by doing just a few things. I know Scott is so appreciative of that, what you're bringing to the table for, for, your, for structural and just some of the work. I mean, that's, that's amazing. And how much, again, was that, was that grant? $1.06 million. 1.6, man. Yes. That's amazing. I uh, mean, I'm all about training the next generation because I am the next generation. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, I am. And you actually care. You know, I, I think it's great that, um, you know, you're a young person that – actually is doing something you know you're you're like you know something needs to be done and we do need to be training the next generation you know people get out you know they get the college experience but you're right when it comes to the hands-on applications when it comes to composites and you know manufacturing they really need that experience and I've they need heard that too many of my friends that do an internship at a large corporation and come out i didn't learn anything yeah and right. they, they go to work with um, most of these companies here. Sure. And they're like, I actually learned something last summer. <laughs> you know why? Because composites do it right. Right, right. Now, is this your first Camex? This is my second. Second, okay. Yes. So you were in Dallas last year? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. Yes, and I'm excited for next year. What do you think? What do you think about the show? Fantastic. I was super excited to hear that we won Limelight this year. Yeah, that's, fa that's great. Good turnout. Uh, well, and talking about that, yeah. we could not have completed Limelight mm -hmm. if it wasn't for the interns. Ah, summer interns. There was four of them that really put their mm -hmm. time, their efforts, and their brains all together to make Lamlight happen. That's amazing. Well, I appreciate what you all are doing for younger people. You know, getting them involved in 
training that next generation of, uh, of workers out there. And kudos to you for the, uh, you're just a go-getter. I love that. So uh, I know Scott's very happy to have you on board with uh, Structural Composites. So Dominique, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Of course, thanks for having me. You bet, thank you. That was fun. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I'm just saying. Um, time you want more. We're, we're yeah. easy. No, so that we was like great. doing this stuff. It's fun. Fun for us. We got a gym here. I think. <laughs> she's awesome. Yeah, I think. <laughs> That's yeah, great. She's, she's like, a, you know, one thing good in a, in a company like us is, is if you're a high achiever. Yeah. You know, and, and some, some of that's a little challenge for her because she's got, you know, she's 23. And she's a director. Yeah. There's a lot of people a lot older than her that are not at the level she's at. Right. So, you know, she's, she's navigating yeah. that. But it, it, over time now, it, they, they have an assumption. Sure. And then once they work with her, they see, oh, that, that goes away. You know what I mean? And it just takes a little time. Yeah. Um, but I think pretty much over that at this point. Yeah. Very I'll confident. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I, I, did you play sports in college or school? Okay. Right, like you strike world, me as very like competitive. A, she's, a, well, she's like a world champion. Makes sense. <laughs> She's also deaf. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Finally got me both years. I You're kidding. Yeah. I would have never known. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never known. Yeah. Can't tell. So I didn't. Why I hired her, she told me after I hired Two weeks. Yeah. One well, week. you obviously One don't week. let any limitations hinder you from kudos. Uh, because you know, there were too many limitations with people. just my disability alone. Yeah. That it made me go, okay, well, there, I can't change this. Sure. So what can I change? Right. That's amazing. I, I never would have known that. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually glad that I could Glad you guys stopped by. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that kind of buffers out or um, clouds out every all the background noise, so it helps. Yeah. All right. Great, thanks. I had a phone ringing earlier, and, I, and thankfully it was with these on. You could barely hear that, so. Um, all righty. Well, Anytime we you want to do more, if, and if you, yeah, yeah, you want to come do. on site and do a thing, I'd love you can. To. I'd love yeah, to. we got a lot to show. We do uh, a lot of these uh, on a weekly basis virtually, so I want to have you back on definitely via uh, Zoom. We can talk, and then uh, definitely want to get down to uh, get down to Florida for sure. Sounds good. Yeah. Wait till it gets cold. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take Thanks, care. Thank we'll you. Appreciate it. We'll you. see those maybe next week? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll have these posted. Uh, so what I do, what we typically do. Um, I'll put it on our press page on the website. What we typically do, spoken for the longest time, we've been audio and so um, I'll send it over to our editing team. They edit it usually within a two-day turnaround time. But we've got we've done so much content here. It'll take us a few days, and we'll drip it out over the next week. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, take care. Have a good show.